Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Yay. We filled up the parking lot. We got this building specifically because it had a huge parking lot and you filled it up. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Emily Rendell Araujo. I'm the Director of Senior Services with the City of Sheboygan. I have a lot of people to thank in a few minutes, but first I'm going to invite Mayor Ryan Sorensen to say a few things to us all. Good morning. Well, good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful day in Sheboygan, um, and I'm so glad to be celebrating it with all of you today on this exciting new project uh, right here um, in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. I think if you look around the rooms, there's a lot of friends, families, partners, project managers, neighbors, um, community leaders that have played an integral role in making sure that this project could happen. Um, so I'd like to uh, just recognize a few folks here today. Um, we have um, we couldn't have done this without the support of the city council. Um, so we have some of the council members in the room tonight. We have older person Grazia Perella. Grazia, could you give a wave? We have. Um, older person Angela Ramey in the back there. We have our council president Barb Feldy up here in the front. As well as we have form former uh, city council person who supported this project as well, Marcus Savalio. Marcus. And I'm really hoping I'm not missing any other council members. Um, as well as this is a community collaboration too. Uh, I know that we have several county board supervisors um, in the audience here um, as well today. Um, and we just want to thank everybody uh, on the city staff as well. I know that a lot of the speeches will be a lot of thanks um, and remarks from a lot of uh, folks as well too. Um, but just internally from the city, I know our director of planning and development, Chad Pelshek, is somewhere in the room. Uh, he's done a lot of great work um, with, with grants, planning, moving some money around, making sure that this project could happen as well. Um, our Department of Public Works staff, I know they're floating around here. Uh, Mike Wilmis uh, is in the room. Director David Beeble is here. Um, they've really been uh, great leaders. Uh, well, there he is. Um, great leaders in making sure that, that their staff and their team uh, really saw this project moving forward as well. I know uh, from uh, we have some friends from the F Department of Housing and Urban Development in the room here as well, too, who helped prioritize uh, funding for this project as well. Um, and I know that uh, Emily will recognize them as well, too. But I think that this is just an amazing project when you talk about revitalizing a neighborhood, bringing a community together. Uh, this, is, this is something unique. It is usually traditionally hard to convert an old grocery store into anything else besides a grocery store. But we did it right here in Sheboygan, giving a lot more love and attention uh, to, to this neighborhood. So I hope everyone can enjoy the day, take a tour, enjoy the treats, come say hello, check out the building. Uh, there's a lot more room for expansion and opportunity here, um, and we're exciting, excited to celebrate this day with you today. So take a lot of pictures, um, and with that, I'll turn it back to, to Emily. Thank you, Mary Sorensen. Um, next up, I want to invite Hunter Milner up to say a few words. Hunter is with J.H. Hassinger, our contractor. Good morning, Hunter. Morning, everybody. Nice to see you guys on a beautiful Wisconsin day. I love the snow. I don't know about you guys, but um, uh, I think the mayor knocked it off. He did a great job in starting this out, but I'll reemphasize on a couple things. Um, for people that know what this building was before we started this project to what it is now, it's a heck of a transformation. Um, we've been working with growth design groups and the city of Sheboygan and Emily throughout the last year on this project, and uh, I am proud of it. I hope everybody else that's around this area is proud of it as well, too. And uh, it's been one heck of a project, and we look forward to expanding our portfolio up in this area as we've done some projects prior and want to keep doing work for this community. Thank you for showing up today. Thank you. Thank you, Hunter. And then I want to invite up to speak with you Marilyn Montemayor, who many of you might be familiar with. If you're not familiar with her, you've probably recently seen her picture on a billboard or a bus wrap or WSCS when she leads our cooking shows on TV. And she's like country famous, people watching her cooking shows. So welcome to the microphone, Marilyn. Thank you, Emily. Thank you. And I am on that billboard and on that bus, and they told me about it after the fact. <laughs> uh -huh. 
but that's fine. It's nice to be here in this gorgeous building, see lots of friends and lots of new faces. And of course, I don't remember most everybody's name. I really like name tags very much. I started at the senior center, the old senior center, I think in 2005. I think that was it. I've tried to, to imagine. Um, before the renovation of the old senior center, before Wendy Schmitz was director. Is Wendy here or Ann Kraft? What was the name of the director before Wendy? Well, whoever that director, I can see her face, I send her a Christmas card, but at that time. <laughs> By the way, a little inside information, Ann Kraft and I are probably the oldest ones here, and Uptown Social is a wonderful name. But do you know in 1965, when I moved here, and Ann will attest to this, Uptown Social was the name of the North Side House of Prostitution. <laughs> I think that's gone. <laughs> I don't think you could. <laughs> but go that's not why we named it that, Marilyn. <laughs> but I thought everybody should know that. And that will be cocktail conversation forever regarding the Uptown Social. This is not that kind of club. <laughs> <laughs> you will remember the name. Lots of physical fitness, which I usually do not participate in. Lots of crafts, lots of projects, in lots of programs organized and taught and by volunteers. There are a few hired people who, who do programs, but most of them are by volunteers. Sometimes they last for years, sometimes it's only two or three weeks or a month, and I've participated in some of them but mostly I just hang out at the Senior Center and now at Uptown Social. Any questions about the past? No questions. I remember the past very well. I was talking to some young people at the Art Center, just chatting, and they said, oh, you have a lot of stories. I said, by the time you're my age, you also will have a lot of stories. Every single person here has a story or two or 10. Everybody has had an interesting, wonderful life. I know there's one gentleman here that was the dive under the ocean and all those sorts of things. And lots of, um, what was Kennedy's program? Peace Corps. Every old person has a story or two. I'm glad you're here. Thank you, Marilyn. I don't know that we can ever invite you to speak again. <laughs> I have notes in front of me because there are so many people and I want to make sure that it's so many people that we need to thank and I want to make sure I don't miss anyone. So I'm going to reference my notes. But first, I've got to tell you, I've been in this job, in this role, almost two years. Marilyn was one of the first people I spoke with on the phone because this was late 2020, deep in the pandemic. We're still masking. People are still on Zoom. We're still very remote. And I talked to Marilyn on the phone and she said, you know, Emily, you youngsters feel sorry for us oldsters and you shouldn't. We feel sorry for you. <laughs> and she said, because everything you're going through, we've already done it and we're glad to be done with it. And it really resonated with me and I've taken so much from working with this population uh, about how to enjoy life, uh, all stages of life. I have to admit, I'm, my kids are little and they're terrible and awful and I find myself very jealous of the people who get to come here and hang out every day playing sheep's head and working out with Josh and doing all sorts of fun things while the rest of us are in the slog with newborn, newborns. So thank you, Marilyn, for helping me adjust my attitude about oldsters. I love being old. I really Marilyn says she loves being old. I just walked by our library and saw a book, and the title was something like, "The only you only have to worry about getting old if you're a cheese. Or, you know, it, it only matters being old if you're a cheese. And to that we say the older the better, right? 
So anyway, before we cut this ribbon, I have a lot of people to thank. This has been an exemplary situation of cross-departmental collaboration inside the city, outside of the city, volunteers, paid staff, everyone. This has just been a huge project that's been in the works for a long time, and I'm so grateful that we all get to be here experiencing it today. Um, also, I think it was Bonnie. Bonnie, somewhere in this room, Bonnie Feld, pointed out to me this morning, Emily, you're terrible at scheduling these events because when we had our groundbreaking last February, it was a beautiful Wisconsin day, much like today. And here we are again with snow coming down. The big difference is that today we get to be inside. So isn't that lovely? All right, first up to our friends at J.H. Hasslinger, to Hunter Scott Mike. Thank you for doing such a phenomenal job on this renovation. Thank you for prioritizing this project and getting it done before the snow flows, flies. I wrote this before I knew it was going to fly. Maybe not everybody in this room knows what a challenge construction is right now. And so uh, throughout this entire process, people would ask me, eh, how's your project going? And I would say, really great. Things come up and then they tell us about issues and they offer solutions and we keep moving forward and it's been really just incredible so thank you to the team for offering solutions and for getting this done and really for prioritizing us up here in Sheboygan thank you um, to Mike and Joe and Katie at Growth Design Group thank you for designing this beautiful building who would have thought that this used to be a grocery store and a pet store that that the first time I walked through, there was a dead mouse right in that corner. <laughs> We're not going to have that nowadays. No, <laughs> nope, nope, nope. We're getting an office cat to take care of any pests. <laughs> Just kidding, just kidding. Um, but really, such an incredible building. If you do want to pop your heads into the future gymnasium, um, you might see a save -a grocery cart in there that we sometimes use to move things around. But just truly, what an upgrade for this neighborhood, this building. Um, who'd have thought that we could be in such a light-filled space in a former grocery store? Um, to Paul with EBI. Paul, where are you? Hi, Paul. Paul is our furniture guy. And so Paul took me and another member of the DPW team to the furniture showroom. And you better believe we sat our butts in an example of every single chair you're sitting in. And some we'd look at and say, you remember this. Don't look at me like you're pretending. You know this happened. That we would look at a chair and think, wow, that looks really nice. And then we'd sit in it and say, but it feels not as good as it should. And so th all the furniture that is here has been personally vetted by Paul and personally vetted by our team's butts. And so we hope that you are just as comfortable enjoying all of the furniture here as we, as we had fun picking it out for all of you. Thank you, Paul. And Paul um, brought us some beautiful flowers at the reception desk. Thank you, Paul. Um, oh. To the city's common council and city leadership that um, Mayor Sorensen pointed out, thank you for prioritizing and supporting this project. I know I've got some other senior center friends here in the room with us. Kathy and Noreen from Fond du Lac and Ripon. You can give a wave. They came to visit us. Um, what's been incredible about this project is I have already heard from directors and other communities calling to, to ask, hey, how are you doing this in Sheboygan? How are you getting your community to prioritize a project like this, to put funding behind a project like this? How are you making this happen? And so what I say to that is bravo to Sheboygan, bravo to the Common Council and city leadership for thinking into the future and preparing us for this next wave of retirees so we can take care of people and so we can have a fun place for Marilyn to come and say inappropriate things into the microphone. <laughs> So thank you to the Common Council and city leadership. Um, to Gary and the team at HUD. Gary, can you give us a wave? Oh, he's over here. The rest of your team's over there. So um, if you don't know, this first round of uh, construction was uh, paid for primarily with a community development block grant loan through the um, Department of Housing and Urban Development. And so Gary and his team were huge in making that happen and getting us the funding to make this happen. It was sort of this perfect storm, no pun intended, of bad things happening at the old building, pandemic, opportunity here, and just making it happen. So thank you. Thank you, Gary.
and of course, right along with that, thank you, Director Peleshek, for your work on this um, and to your team. Um, Chad did a ton of work behind the scenes to make this project happen to help find the site to do a lot of paperwork that's way above my head so thank you and and for those who don't know to the rest of Chad's team um, you know people leading up to this event everyone kept asking me if I was sleeping at night and I said well no everything's fine Jane Brill's here she took care of everything I didn't have to worry about it but leading up to our soft opening that was the scary part so when I would talked to Scott with Hassinger and he'd say well if you want to have this grand opening on November 15th and I'd say there is no if there's no if we're doing it and um, and then you know they'd say well we can we can probably be ready by the 15th and I said well we got to be ready by the 7th because that's when we're letting all of our members in and his eyes got real big and we made it happen and you might not know that we got our temporary certificate of occupancy the Friday before at 3:48 p.m. 42 minutes to spare before the office closed and we were about to have to email all the members and say. Sorry, see you next time. So just <laughs> incredible to Chad's team of inspectors for getting us through all the paperwork to make sure that this is a safe place for everyone to be. I still have lots of thanks, so like take a deep breath. We got to keep going. Um, to the clerks at City Hall, I don't see any of them here, but they helped direct a lot of our people who were lost at City Hall looking for us on third floor. So thank you to them for putting up with us. To the mayor and Veronica and everyone else in Suite 300 at City Hall, thank you for putting up with us squatting in your conference room for two for two years. Two years we squatted in the conference room. I'm sure things are much quieter now, and I promise we will get the rest of our junk out tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's on my calendar. It's on my calendar. Um, to our colleagues at DPW, I know we had a shout out to Mike and Director Beeble earlier. I see their hands in the back. They're, they've been incredible throughout this project. I joke, and it's not really a joke, that I call Mike Wilmus more often than I talk to my husband. He's just been my right hand guy throughout this whole thing. And Director Beeble, thank you for being the bad guy and doing some tough love with the contractors and the architects so I could always be the good cop. Thank you. Um, also, lots of lots of help at DPW. Joe Curlin's team for putting up with us in their uh, park shelters for two years, offering programs um, at park shelters and cleaning up after us. Thank you so much to them. Um, to Don Sokolowski, who's no longer with working with the city, but was very involved in the beginning. And Al and Steve for cleaning up after us at City Hall. And Juan and Travis for coming here yesterday to make sure this place was spick and span for everybody. And for everyone who helped move all of our stuff over from the old building. Just a huge, huge effort, and I can't thank them enough. Um, real quick one to the finance department. I don't see Caitlin here, but thank you to them for paying the bills. Um, huge shout out to our friends at the Mead Public Library for hosting some of our programs over the past year. Um, you know, I asked Josh yesterday if I should make this joke, and he said I shouldn't, but I'm going to do it anyway. So to the Mead Public Library, thank you for hosting our participants over the past year. We know those sheep's head players can be curmudgeonly, and we're grateful to you for putting up with them. And I say that as a fellow sheep's head player. <laughs> to the Senior Services Commission. Can we get a show of hands, commission members that are in the room? Thank you, Rich, our chair. I know we've got, thank you to our commission members. Thank you for your advocacy and your guidance in getting this project going. And I hope you're ready to buckle up as we revive and renew our livability plan in 2023. Um, to the friends of Uptown Social, thank you for all of your time spent lift, uplifting this organization. For those who aren't aware, Uptown Social happens um, with a lot of support from the city and then a lot of support from the Friends of Uptown Social, which is the nonprofit 501c3 that raise funds. So they have their own board of directors. Can we get a show of hands, all of the Friends board members? Thank you, thank you. And actually, uh, about a third of our annual operating funds flow through the Friends. So when you purchase a membership, when the cafe opens and you buy a meal, when you make a donation, it's all going through the Friends of Uptown Social, which um, we, we couldn't do nearly, well, we would have to do a whole third less of what we do without their support. So thank you to them. Um, I have to mention that uh, we're currently 
wrapping up our first phase of construction. The second phase that we hope to complete next year is the big gymnasium. There's some signage by the entrances that gives you an idea of what's coming. And um, the friends have committed to fundraise to make that happen. And so if there are people in this room that feel so inclined to want to be a part of that project, I would love to have a conversation with you. Scott Johnston, our board president, he's hiding, but he would love to have a conversation with you about what that looks like. And um, you'll be hearing a lot more from us coming soon about um, ways to be involved in that process. And speaking of supporting the friends, we have some sponsors in the room that have already signed on to be a part of this project. So thank you, Kohler Company, for uh, both a financial contribution and about $30,000 worth of in-kind plumbing features in this room, so in this building. Thank you. Also, big thanks to Bader Philanthropies, the Alliance Energy Foundation. I think Laura's here somewhere if you want to give a wave. Um, Sheboygan Senior Community. I know Stephanie's here. She waved. Good. Thank you, Sheboygan Senior Community. And Pine Haven Christian Communities. I saw Sam somewhere. Hi, Sam. And, um, and the town of Sheboygan. I don't know if we have anyone from the town of Sheboygan here today. I see a hand wave. Thank oh, hi, Karen. So thank you to those sponsors that have already signed on to help us get that gym built. Thank you. <laughs> I promise I'm, all, I'm almost done. There's just so many people to thank here. Um, to all of our volunteers, thank you. As Marilyn mentioned, this place runs on volunteers. And you all have been so incredibly patient with us as you've moved with us from the old building to City Green to Deland Park, to Roosevelt Park, to Kiwanis Park, to City Hall, to the library, and now to here. Thank you for your patience and your perseverance, and I, I, hope, I, I hope you're as excited as we are to get settled into this building and really make it our own. So thank you all. Of course, a huge thank you to the staff. Uh, you might not know that our entire team turned over throughout this project. So to, to our former colleagues, uh, Vicki Schneider, Melissa Wolf, and Rachel Connery, who were here getting this project started and were very involved in the um, initial concepts, huge thank you to them for their work. And then, of course, to Jane. I haven't even seen Jane in like an hour. She's just busy. Hi, Jane. Thank you, Jane, for doing so much. Jane's been with us for a month, and she's just been doing amazing things. Things. And of course, thank you to Josh. Um, if, if, if you ever want to do a fitness program, he's funny, he's caring, he enjoys mashed potatoes. Um, I just encourage you to check out a fitness program with Josh. You won't regret it. You might, it, don't ever tell him what, you're, what moves you don't like because he'll, he'll make you do them more and you'll regret it forever. So don't do that. Um, and, and finally, finally, Thank you to all of our members, our participants, our visitors. Thank you to all of you who've been here today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for coming back again. And thank you for telling all your friends so we can continue to grow. That's it. I'm sweating. Let's get this ribbon cut. So uh, the Sheboygan County Chamber is here. Let's have them come forward. I'd like to have anybody who was involved in the project. So our architects, our contractors, our staff, our commission, our alders, anyone who wants to be here, we want you to be a part of this ribbon cutting. We're going to do it right here. So come on over. Thank you.